Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We're following on from yesterday's video where we showed you how to use the Flexbox system implemented here in Divi 5. It's been a lot of talk and a lot of confusion about how to actually use it, how to create different columns on different devices. A lot of people saying it's really difficult. It's really not. I've got a desktop version here with sort of five in a row. I'm using Google Chrome here with the inspector tools. If I hit my F12 key, here we have it on an iPad and I've split it into three and two. And if we have a look on an iPhone, I'll split it into four and one. And it's really easy to do. You don't have to go through people to say, well, what if I've got 30 pictures or modules? I'm just using images for convenience here. Obviously you might have modules to do this. They're saying, what if we got 30 or 40 of them? I don't want to have to go through everyone and change the settings on it. Well, you don't. And I'll show you exactly how you can do this. So let's edit with Divi. And I'm going to add a new section, a little blue button. I'm going to throw in a row with a single column in it, just like we did yesterday. And like I say, for convenience, I'm just going to use images. I'm going to throw in an image module. We can get rid of this section at the top now. Let's pop in an image. I'll use those same Im images again. What I'm going to do is just duplicate this two, three, four, five. So we've got five of them as we did before. We're going to the next one. Change out the images. As you can see, it's really quick to work with DV5. I'm really enjoying this new interface. Now yeah, we should have one more. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we've got a column there with our five images or five modules or whatever it is you're using with yours. Now remember, to make it flex, to use our flex box, I'm going to go into the row itself, the green tab, and into the actual column we're all sitting with. Remember, all these are in one column. Once inside the column, I'm going to go to Design, to Layout, I'm going to select flex. We've got our layer as default from going from top to bottom. I'm going to put mine from left to right. And there we've got our five from left to right. It's got a horizontal gap of 30. I'm going to take that down. I'm going to take that down instead of a pixel value for mine today, just to make things easier. I'm going to make it a percentage. So I'm going to type two and the percent sign. And we'll put that in over there for us. And that's okay, obviously adjust to taste. Now we want to remember this too when we're stacking our columns because it's the gap between our columns here. So remember that too with the horizontal gap. And of course you can flip the row the other way. And as you saw, we can have it top to bottom, bottom to top. Great little settings. You can justify the content, justify it at the start as I've got mine in the middle. I want mine all in the center, which is fine. But you've also got the option to put it at the end, put space between space around and you can space things evenly too just like that i'm happy for mine to be in the center here now as far as the rows or columns you can align yours start center end or you can make it stretch if you want to for mine today i'm going to leave it on centered right there now for our desktop version i'm not going to wrap it i'm going to leave it exactly like it is just like that okay well let's decide what we want to have going on on tablet and mobile so what I'm going to do now is go up here to my tablet version. And I think five is just too many. They're too small for me on five. And like I say, you may have content if you're using regular modules instead of an image. So you'll only be able to make it go as small as the content will allow before it all spills out. So I think on my tablet here, I'm going to have three on the top and two on the bottom. So all I need to do is go into my first one here. And here's where it comes up about people saying, well, we don't want to have to do this with 20 modules or so. If you're doing them all the same, it's really simple. So we're in our first module here. I'm going to go design. I'm going to go down to sizing. Now you'd think to have just three on the top, I'd make these 33%. So if we go in here and make this 33, which is a third, Make sure we've got a percentage over here. It puts pixels in by default. Let's select the pics underneath. I'm just going to right click on my sizing here. I'm going to say extend sizing attributes. 
from this image. I can do the entire page because there's nothing else on here, but you can select rows or columns or sections. Again, I'm going to do all modules. I could just do images or whatever, or just do images. I'm going to say extend and it's extended them, but nothing's really happened because we need to go into our little row here and then into the column. Back to our flex in the layout. All we need to do is wrap it. Now, as you can see, that's made those 33%, but they're not spreading three across the top. Now, this is what I mentioned earlier. Remember that too. We have to take account for that percentage on the gap between each of these. So if I now go back into this module, we go to our design and sizing. Take two off of that, take it down to 31. Let's see what happens. Perfect. At 30%, we've got it. We've got the gap and we've got each image down to 30%. And let's go into these and we'll make them a little bit bigger. We want them about 50%. We'll take away the two. So I'll go into this first one here. Now let's try 48. Great. We can do exactly the same for this one. Design, sizing. So we've now got this layout on tablet and we can go to mobile. Perhaps we want these to be two in each row and then one big one on the bottom or however you want to do it. Like I say, it's so easy to adjust. It's crazy. What I need to do is go into any one of these. I'm going to go to design sizing again for the width on this device. I want them all to be 50% or 48% with the gap. Then all I need to do here is again, right click, extend the sizing, choose what you want to extend it to everything. In my case, I'm just going to do it there. Great. We've got two, two, two. If you want to adjust the horizontal gap, we know how to do that with the column there. I'll show you in a second. And our last one here doesn't work. If you like it like that, that's fine. We can align all contents in the middle. It would be in the middle, but I'd rather have it a larger version. So let's do that. I'm going to go into this one. Just click on it. Design. Pretty sure you're ahead of me on this one. It's going to be 98. Perfect. Now let's go into our little row and that column. The gaps there is a little too much, isn't it, for me? So I've gone into the row. We're going to go into the column. Design. The layout again. Again, they've got a pixel value. Let's take that maybe down to 10 and see what happens. Looks good to me. Let's make sure it's okay on tablet. That's great. Looking fine on tablet there. I'm back to desktop. And we've got our five again. Let's make sure we save everything up here. We'll exit. Make sure that everything is going to work on the front end. Here we are. We've got our five on the desktop here. Let's hit my F12 key. We've got our iPhone 12 here. And we've got two, two, and one. And take a look on our tablet. And we've got three and two. And like I say, depending on what modules you're using, let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see it properly. Depending on what modules you're using and how much space your contents are taking up, you can size these really easy to your needs. If you've got a lot, most of them are going to be a certain one size. You can just extend your settings. If you've got ones that you want to make a custom size on a particular device, you can see how easy it is to do that. So I hope that's answered some of those questions about Flexbox on Divi 5. If you keep it fairly simple, it's really easy to do and it's a fantastic thing to have implemented. So don't forget, if you have any questions today, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. We'll make another little demo video just like this one. Well, once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.